in weather. It was a beautiful evening for some, a cloudy evening for others. So this was the view over in Calhoun County here on this first evening of summer. From Justin Como, you can see the mountains there in the view. Got a rainbow over Hoover from Kim Gossett. And the rainbows were prevalent over Jefferson and Shelby and Tuscaloosa counties this evening. But the rain is moving on out of here. Might still see a brief shower around Jefferson, Shelby, Tuscaloosa County between now and midnight. But I don't really expect that much rain especially west of I-65 during the day tomorrow. This big disturbance has had everything stirred up lately. It's starting to get stretched out and pulled off toward the east. And as it does, it's taking most of the really stormy weather and pulling it over toward the Carolinas. In fact, there may be a risk of a few severe thunderstorms in uh, eastern North Carolina and South Carolina close to the coast tomorrow. And that's moving away from us, though. We've got some drier air starting to move in from the west, and that's not necessarily a bad thing for a lot of places. I realize that obviously rain has not been even around Alabama lately. We had over two and a half inches of rain and in stare it in Shelby County today. Chelsea had 1.86 Vestavia Hills 1.6 and then Collegeville just north of downtown Birmingham only 32 hundredths of an inch. So tomorrow in those communities that had so much rain today, it still may be a little bit too wet to get the grass cut. But on Friday and Saturday, you should have ample opportunity to get that done. Just be aware that even then a brief thunderstorm could develop and lightning will be one of the main threats. So you make sure that if there's a storm within 10 miles of you that you move indoors immediately. Noon tomorrow. Few showers, if any. I think our best chance of rain, Jefferson, Blunt, Cullman, Etowah, Cherokee, and northward. And of course, it's going to stay cooler in northeast Alabama with that better chance of some showers tomorrow. We're going to start the day in the mid 60s. A little patchy fog, a spotty shower or two expected mainly northeast of Birmingham. And look how the temperature changes. We go from 83 in Tuscaloosa and Bessemer to 78 at Sneed and Lineville, 81 at Sylacauga. 84 around Demopolis getting hotter on Friday. The weather pattern changes some going into Saturday and Sunday because of this strong ridge, a bubble of really hot, dry air out to the west that's had it in the hundreds over Texas lately. That's going to supply some hot air for the weekend. But as this northwest flow starts to kick in, that could lead to some heavy thunderstorms Sunday night into Monday. The timing of those storms will have everything to do with just how hot it gets going into the first part of next week. You're watching.